Five apps your teachers might not be cool with, today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. And I'm Jackie Talbot. And Jackie, have you ever cheated in school? You know, I specifically never did uh, ever. Until, until I got to college, actually. Oh. Just saying, I'm What'd being you do? honest here. So I wouldn't do any like, you know, looking over your neighbor's desk or anything, but I would totally pull the like, you're not in the bathroom, take my phone and check the answer. Oh, yeah. The age of the internet. But I was actually really good. How about you? I don't want to talk like about a it. Big old school tour. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. That's why I'm stupid today. All right, look, everyone. Well, the story. That's right. Everyone's giving you back to school advice nowadays, and we respect that. But okay. nobody is giving you the slightly nefarious approach. Yes. So we don't recommend that you ever cheat your way through school. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll end up like dumb Mao here. If you cut corners now, your life will be exponentially more difficult later, and that's a promise. That's right. But. When the going gets tough, the week gets to cheating, and here are the five apps those cheaters are likely to use. That's right. At number five, Wikipedia. Duh. Duh. Available both on Android and iOS, mm -hmm. this is the go-to site for answers, which makes it the go-to app for history tests I'm right. in particular. Mm -hmm. What makes this app land in the extra forbidding category? Both iOS and Android will let you save articles offline, and it's completely free. The lesson here, mm. teachers, mm. Take all phones before you do your pop quiz action. Do they do that? Is that legal? I don't know. Maybe in maybe not in college, maybe in high school. I'm sure in high school. I got my phone taken away so much in high school. There it is. <laughs> You're on their property. They can do whatever they want. All right, at number four, Cliff Notes. Remember these guys? Yeah. City Guides for iOS. Cliff Notes has always been the perfect augmentation publication for your book reports, but in my case, they acted as the holy crap, I didn't read the book and it's due tomorrow, that report, oh, what am I gonna do? Yes. Uh, so these guides include character theme and plot summaries and analysis. They've got interactive quizzes and get this, this is pretty cool. They even prescribe cram plans. Uh, they give you exactly what you need to know in the time that you have. Wow. You know what I used to do? I used to take uh, my book and take the number of pages I had to read and do the math of how many pages I had to read a day. This is like not even worth it instead of just doing it. <laughs> well, I would recalculate every week because I still wouldn't start the book. <laughs> every day you're like, damn it, all right, that's another 10 minutes I gotta add on. That's right. Now, for the record, I have since gone back and actually read Catch in the Rye and Fahrenheit 451, and I completely regret not being influenced by those books sooner. You didn't read Fahrenheit 451 in high school? Not in high school. I know. That's like the best book ever. I know. It's my favorite book. I'm Anyways, sorry. I'm sorry. At number three, Wolfram Alpha. Math Geeks will get a kick out of this one for sure. And if you're struggling, you'll get a kick out of it too. Mm -hmm. For $3.99 on Android or just $1.99 on iOS, you get some extremely powerful graphing tools just by entering some equations. Mm -hmm. You can find alternate forms, implicit derivatives, global maximum, and other things that I haven't done since high school. Forever. <laughs> a sub five dollar tool like this is amazing considering that my Texas Instruments calculator cost over a hundred dollars back in the day. Yeah, I sold mine for about 75 bucks. Oh my god. Yeah, my That's used insane. one. Yeah, yeah, so do this one instead. Yeah. And as a bonus for you real math nerds, comment below with your results when entering this set of equations that we made. Yep, I think you might be happy about the results. <laughs> ha, ha. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, coming in at number two, Google Translate for iOS and Android. We used to be fans of WordLens, which translated text for your camera in real time, and it was actually pretty awesome. But the glitches and the expensive language packs just kind of don't really stand up to the free Google product. Now, if you're having a little bit of trouble in the Spanish class, you lo might, siento. lo siento, you might enjoy this Babelfish solution. Babelfish is for those people that read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I've seen the movie. Sorry, inside joke. Uh, you Androiders will have a bonus feature in the ability to take a photo of text for quick translations. You know who would have uh, enjoyed this? Hmm. Bill Murray, I tell you, would have a better time in Tokyo if he would have had this app. Oh, you're talking about Lost in Translation, aren't That's you? That's right. My God, that is an awesome segue, Jackie. Thanks, Mal. <laughs> we'll get to number one in a sec, but we wanted to let you know that you can stream Lost in Translation right now 
on Netflix.com. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or Nintendo Wii console, plus Apple devices, Kindles, and Nooks, and all sorts of Android devices. It all and works. you can get a free 30-day trial membership. Just go to www.netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. You're supporting our show when you sign up there. All right, and finally, our number one forbidden back-to-school app. Mm -hmm. This one lets you do the kind of cheating that everybody can agree on. This is everyone except the school's accounting department. That's right. Amazon Student for iOS and Android allows you to buy, trade in, and compare prices on textbooks, games, and more. As you're in your school's bookstore, probably trying to control your nausea from all the crazy price tags, you can scan the book's barcodes, find the cheapest deal, and get even free two-day shipping if you are an Amazon Prime member. You know what my solution was? What's that? I used to borrow my friend's books and make photocopies of the pages. That is so expensive now. It is expensive. I don't know what I was... But well, it was a little than cheaper. than buying a giant mm. textbook. Yeah, that's true. Yes. All right, <laughs> let us know your tips and tricks to stay ahead of the curve this fall. Leave us a comment on YouTube, obviously. Of course, subscribe to us on YouTube. Find us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Crosswalk, Everywhere. Wherever else you use the internet, we probably use it there too. All right, guys. See you next time. Yeah.